Here's a textbook example of how we can rearrange the accounting equation. So on the balance sheet we start out with assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. We also have uh, net income off here but that flows into stockholders equity at the end of the period and it's closed. So let's just look how we can rearrange this equation and still have it in balance. So here we start with assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. So if we take here uh, and move the stockholders equity to this side of the equation, well it minuses that. So then we get assets minus stockholders equity equals liability. And if we take our uh, assets here, our, have our assets on this side of the equation and then we move the liabilities over here we would subtract them so we end up with stockholders equity uh, equals assets minus liabilities. So it's good to understand that it still stays in balance after you arrange these, uh, rearrange the equation. Here's another textbook example of how we can uh, test our understanding of the accounting equation and, and isolate a couple of counts here and see how they affect this equation and how we can determine them just using algebra. So here assets equal liability plus stockholders equity as shown above. So assets here are comprised of cash plus other assets. Okay, assets, assets equal cash plus other assets. Therefore, let's look here. We can take cash plus the other assets would equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. Cash plus other assets equals liability plus stockholders equity. Then we can further rearrange this equation just to determine what our cash is here by taking the other assets and moving them to this side, but you have to subtract them from this side of the equation. So cash equals liability plus uh, stockholders equity minus other assets. Another good textbook example testing our understanding of the accounting equation and how we can determine some of our other accounts based on uh, uh, the balance of this equation and using some simple algebra. Okay, just to sum up this accounting equation here, we've got the balance sheet here, and then it's classified as assets down here, equals the liabilities here, plus the stockholders' equity down here. So I show these T accounts and uh, the basic uh, T accounts for these uh, the accounting equation here. Plus we got net income off to the side here. This is a very good reference if when you're sitting down and doing your problem textbook problems and that you can use this and determine the signs the debits and credits how the signs change relative to the side of equation and what account does what so just to sum it up led you into it with these accounting the accounting equations so we'll just look at it here and this is a good reference if you were doing your problems you can always relate back to this when you're checking your debits and credits.